Hi traders, Namaskar. Today we are on the 19th of May 2022, 5 p.m. Indian Standard Time, and um, we are looking at the daily chart of the Nifty, and it was quite a, a disappointing day. The index was down over 442 points, close to 3%, slips back below that uh, psychological 16K mark, and closes at 15,784. So the recent a bounce back and the hope with which it came that it can reverse the short term trend is all gone. What can we expect going ahead tomorrow and the next week? Let's take a closer look at price action. As I was telling you, this is the daily chart of the Nifty Near Month Futures and a closer look clearly reflects that um, a big gap down and not only a big gap down, follow through selling. Uh, this aspect, we will get a clearer picture if we take a look at the smaller time frames. I'm looking at the 75 minute time frame. Uh, let's just revisit our view. So this wide range of resistance played its part really well, but as um, the market started to come down we were expecting that close to that psychological 16,000 16,100 that is in this range we may get some support but that did not happen and uh, uh, quite mercilessly the uh, prices gapped down below this stayed down throughout the session and came very close to its previous swing low now this low is getting uh, tested and retested multiple times. This is an important zone going forward. Um, so this move that we had a 400 point uh, bounce back in one day that we had um, turned out to be quite disappointing. Um, with this gap down that we saw in today's session and <clears throat> the follow through sell off, uh, clearly reflects that the market is not ready to sustain any kind of short term bounces. And it is very clear the way a uh, few stocks like Infosys, TCH, HCL Tech um, have gotten beaten down and previous lows were broken clearly reflects that this market is still in a very strong bear grip. Now, <clears throat> going back to the daily chart, we are uh, back to this zone. We are back to the zone where in the past we have seen a couple of times prices coming down below that 16k and bouncing back. So this is one more attempt. Will it bounce back? My guess is as good as yours, but uh, I wouldn't suggest you to be overly bullish or trying to look for contrarian trades. On the other hand, because we have a range expansion because of the extent of the move that we saw today. I would suggest give some time to the market, the prices should consolidate a little bit and then look for fresh shorting opportunities or if the market surprises us with yet another bounce back then we can strategize accordingly. But the strategy for the Nifty would be just to just to wait out the first couple of hours into tomorrow's trade and then uh, act. Um, Bank Nifty is, is a little away from its previous swing low, you can see this. But the Bank Nifty 2 had a very uh, crushing negative close of 850 points and that 34,000 which we thought this is it make or break. Now it was a break. Sadly for me, uh, the very gap down was so uh, extreme in its size that it gives very little chance. As you can see that uh, after it gapped down, it didn't even give a chance on the 75 minute time frame for any kind of a bounce back uh, that one can look to sell into. Well, so that, that was the extent of the moves and that's why I'm suggesting both for the Nifty and Bank Nifty, we should give it a little bit of time, maybe the half of tomorrow's trade and just to see whether the index manages to bounce back or it stays weak. In either case, the trend has reversed down it was down, it was trying to reverse up, but it has again uh, confirmed itself down. And uh, so in terms of your trading tactics, you should be looking to sell on a rise going forward. What happened in the options market? Now the flip of the uh, call writers in yesterday's trade played out really well. The 
uh, calls open significantly lower in the in the day trade and i'm right now looking at the monthly because next week is the thursday's uh, trade is going to also mark the monthly expiry so i'm taking a look at the monthly and clearly we can see here that uh, call change and put change the relative call writing of course is is much higher for the for the bank nifty the levels are 34000 um call writing is very evident and the closer 33500 put writings are happening at around 33 and 33, uh, 32 if you take a look at the chart of bank nifty essentially what the market thinks is this uh, previous resistances, previous support, which was resistance, which the market broke, the 34, 34, 100 mark that we were talking about, the market now expect this as a strong resistance. Doesn't expect that it's going to come there by the next Thursday, which I think is is fairly fair. And 33, 500 is the nearest one, but 34 and 32. Uh, are the major strikes if you take a look at the calls and over here the puts these are the calls and these are the puts same kind of a figure you will get on the uh, nifty but in the nifty what you will find is the call writings are well spread uh, at the um, 16,000 16,100 16,200 and in this case these the call writings are far more uh, than that of the put writing both in terms of size and the extent so Markets open week, stayed week, call writers yesterday uh, re re rewarded for um, uh, the trade, the move that they made in yesterday's trading session. And uh, going forward, we have to wait for any kind of such bounce backs that we that we saw recently for any kind of hope. But till then, strategy wise, you should stay bearish. You should wait for the markets to give you any kind of signs of divergences you will start to get signs of divergences very very soon next week whether they will work or not that that needs to be seen 34,000 stays as the important resistance for the bank nifty and for the nifty it is close to that 16,000 16,100 until and unless these levels are taken off uh, from a positional point point of view it won't be uh, prudent to go on the long side just wait out and wait for the market to show us that whether it has that kind of strength or not looking at the way the stocks got broken down I mentioned about HCL tech Infosys TCS they have all broken down below their recent swing lows all of them this this these are not good signs if you take a look at Tata Steel it's still holding but the IT stocks have really broken down ITC and Hindustan Unilever were the only pockets of strength but apart from that, the overall broader markets also stayed really weak. So not a very good day. In fact, quite a quite a defeating day for the bulls in the recent bounce back. Now we will uh, see the first couple of hours in tomorrow's session just to see whether it consolidates. And if it gives a bounce back, I think uh, one should look to uh, trade more on the short side either. Um, look to sell on the rise I wouldn't suggest to sell the breakdowns but I would strongly suggest that use a short term bounce back to go and create short positions take care of yourselves everyone trade well and trade wise